Hi guys, it's me, Gemma McCulloch. I'm back again and I'd like to thank Evan for letting me on the cartoon block again. Um, as you may already know, I'm a huge fan of the Marvel movies and so in anticipation of Doctor Strange coming out pretty soon, I will be drawing Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange using this photo as a reference. And if you enjoy what you see here today, remember you can follow me on Instagram at gemmaremixi or you can like my Facebook page, The Unfinished Art of Gemma McCulloch. So let's see how we get on. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all is just rough out the basic shapes of the pose. Uh, I start off with the head, that's just how I roll. And uh, then I'm just going to bl start blocking out uh, the body, the outline of the body. Now you'll get told by other people to maybe start off with stick figures. You know, like basic shapes, lines and circles and all that. That's fine if that works for you, but to be honest, my brain just can't cope with it at all. So I just do, this is my own thing, I just block out the basic shapes. Um, it doesn't always turn out to be right the first try, but I mean, it's pencil, so I can rub it out and start again later on. So it's fine. Um, so once I've started blocking that out, like I said, it's just, it might be a slightly exaggerated pose right now, but we can always go back to it. It's just to give the basic sort of gesture and uh, compare it to the, uh, just a rough comparison to the um, reference. Um, right, so once I've done that, I'm going to start on the face. And uh, I, if you saw my last tutorial, you saw that I, I usually start off by drawing a circle and then the centre line. That's what I'm going to do just now, even though this time it's a three-quarter pose. So this time that there's not uh, the, the same spacing between the eyes, I kind of just judge it. Uh, just by looking. Um, so the furthest away eye is closer to the nose because in that pose. So that's what I do. Rough it out, and I'm just going to basically rough out the features, and we can work into them a bit more later on. Um, so just the shape of his nose. We'll look back. And um, people ask me how I get likenesses of actors, and I'm going to be honest. I don't actually. I don't have a secret. <laughs> it's more a case of just looking at the reference and also drawing from memory because I think drawing from memory is the more, most important thing because that way you draw the features which you remember the most and they're ob so that makes them the obvious prominent features so I mean that's what we're going to do with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch we're just going to draw his long face, he's got a long face all the time he's so sad um, and he's got really like really strange eyes I suppose and really high cheekbones these are all features that we're just we notice about him straight away so this is what we're gonna work on but obviously you can't draw all from memory to get a good likeness so we're just gonna go back and forth and back and forth Um not gonna go too deep into the detail I, I don't think just because you know I don't like uh, portraits to be too uh, hyper like too realistic um, just because I feel like it's a bit of a cop out. If you wanted to get, I always say this: if you wanted to get a realistic look, you could just take a picture, I suppose. But anyway, we'll just work into it. And as you can see, I'm just working into the uh, his features um, using the measurements that I showed you in my last tutorial. Um, just sort of roughing it out. Uh, I, yeah, just roughing it out. Sorry, out. Um, so. The reason I chose this reference is just because, uh, well I don't know about you, but I like to know as little as possible about upcoming uh, Marvel movies, especially movies that I'm looking forward to, and I'm really looking forward to this. So the reason I chose this reference is the fact that this is the, the picture that we've all seen. These are the pictures that sort of were released to show that filming is, uh, you know, filming was underway for this, uh, for this movie. Um, so I'm not giving anything away, I'm not spoiling anything. I know about about as much as you do at this point, so that's fine. Um, I need all my summer blockbusters to have the same level of secrecy as The Force Awakens from now on. Okay, that's just my personal opinion. But anyway, let's carry on. So we're just sort of going into the smaller details. Uh, as you can see, I've roughed out his hairline as well. Um, as for the facial hair, just sort of light strokes just now. We can go into it later. It's just uh, just now it's looking like a, a Magnum PI moustache. It's quite glorious, but uh, we'll come back to it. Um, 
I haven't decided if I'm going to do the cuts as well. I don't think I will. I think we'll just use this as a reference and uh, I think that I feel like the cuts are a bit out of context in this. This is just a, a general pose. Um, but we'll just work on his hair a little bit more. Maybe make it, make it a bit higher. I don't know. So. Um, so yeah, I kind of get, I tend to get a bit carried away when I draw the face. Um, and I notice a little bit of things that aren't sort of quite right and I go into it and I kind of forget about the rest of the body, to be honest. I think one of the, the best uh, pieces of advice I can give, and I should really listen to myself as well, something I have to remind myself of, is that you really have to, you keep ha you have to keep stepping away from your drawing. The thing, you can get so close to it, so into it, but the moment you step away, you'll, your mistakes will become glaringly obvious. So, I mean, you could spend all the time in the world just, like, hunched over this drawing, you know, with all these details, and then you could step away and it would make, you know, n no goddamn sense. And, you know, it, the proportions could be off or whatever, so that is one of the pieces of advice I would give, is just keep every so often, just step, take a step back and look at it and uh, you'll end up with a better drawing that way because, <laughs> the reason I say this is because I've noticed his head's too big for his body so I'm just going to start all over again but that's okay, that's that's why pencils have erasers and all that jazz all those cliches so I'm just going to start broadening out shoulders um, So, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really know that much about Doctor Strange. I feel like a bit of a, an imposter drawing him, but like I, said, I, I think that's the great thing about the Marvel movies, is that you can just look forward to it. You know they're going to, it's going to be a great film. You don't have to know anything about the character. If anything, it makes you want to learn more about the character. Um, so, yeah, I should maybe start getting into Doctor Strange. If anyone has any recommendations about what to read, uh, that would, I, they would be very much appreciated. Um, so as you see, we're just roughing out the, the body again, um, going into his costume. He has a shed load of belts on, I don't know if that's like for a particular purpose or if it's just for decoration. <laughs> Maybe if uh, the reading material that you offer me will, <laughs> will inform me. Um, and his cape, his glorious cape, so he can go to the opera. I assume that's what it's for. Oh, the eye of... Agamotto, Agamotto. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a pretty cool name. Uh, yep. So we'll just go uh, into the detail of the face now. We can go into the detail of the costume later, but this is where we start to like really notice the likeness. Uh, I've made his chin too big, so I'll just go into that, make it a bit smaller. Um, and already, just the thing that amazes me about portraiture is that the slightest mark makes the biggest difference. And already, you can see that there's there's something not quite right. But we're just you know a few marks away to finding out what it is. Um, going into his cheekbones, his jaw, his facial hair, and his beautiful, glorious quiff that he has going on. Um, So his eyes are maybe, oh, maybe a bit dark, but like I said, we'll just keep going, we're figuring it out. Um, to be honest, I think it's his mouth. His mouth isn't the right shape, so might have to start again in that sense, but here we go. Yeah, it was too straight, and you can see that he's got a bit of a, a dip. There and already, look, that's made such a difference already. So, just more awesome facial hair, just thickening it out, making it less of a, a bad teenage mustache and more of an awesome facial hair bro. Um, see, just already just made such a difference. The likeness is already so much better. So here we go. I've added a bit more details. Uh, here's my signature. And I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was a little bit entertaining. Uh, okay. Thank you. I'll see you later.
And if you're still having a hard time coming up with your own superhero body, then click the link below in the description and get my free superhero mini course. Get started right now. Don't wait.